Hello everybody, and it's now time for my collection update, and this is going to be, I thought it was going to be a small one, but I have a mixture of some retro games, and I have a big PS2 haul, first three games in the PS2, you're going to laugh, but they were given to me, I didn't pay for them, I'm going to start off with my Blu-rays and then my DVDs, like I always do, and the first one I picked up at the dollar store, Ernest Goes to Camp for $3, love the Ernest movies, had to pick this up. Uh, this one here I used to watch when I was younger, and I always did like it. It still uh, has uh, Emilio Estevez into it and Rosie O'Donnell, and that is another stakeout. Very good movie. It's very good comedy. Dollar Store got some more movies in, so I used to watch this all the time as a kid. So the minute I seen it, I had to pick it up, and that is Felix the Cat Saves Christmas. The voice of. Uh, w uh, the one who plays Joey Gladstone on Full House plays the voice of Felix. So, uh, these are super. Moving on to my games, these are Super Nintendo games I picked up this week. Uh, first one was We're Back: A Dinosaur Story. Paid five bucks for. Uh, paid fifteen for the three games. Um, this game here was that badly dirty and crowed it onto the thing I had to take it apart and clean it with brass oil and everything like that and what a time to get it going I was actually surprised because usually Super Nintendo games they play like instantly and I don't put any games like if I buy them second hand I don't put them in my machine without cleaning them uh, it's just the way I am uh, this one here Legend has a little bit of sticker residue there I'll get that off eventually um, Seen this game on there, I didn't have it. Um, it's like a beat 'em up type deal. You go around as the guy is a swordsman with a shield, and you just do beat 'em up things and whatnot. Uh, her it goes for a large amount of money, and it, to me, it looks like a hidden gem in the series. I don't know, I have to play it some more. Uh, and then I picked up Bubsy, and this goes for a decent amount of money. It's a platformer game. You go as fast as you can through the levels, just like Sonic, mostly. Uh, I picked this up for five something online uh, with free shipping, and that is Lord of Arcadian. Looks like a fun RPG. Uh, these were, I think, six dollars for the two, and that is first one is Stormrise. Uh, that's a first person shooter and singularity. It's also a first person shooter. Looks pretty awesome though. But usually the, the games that look awesome, uh, IGN or websites like that, usually rip on them like crazy and I don't know why. Just give me a second, I'm gonna move all these games over. Uh, I picked up a copy of Dead Space, another copy of Dead Space. Um, mine was the Platinum Hits. This is a horror survival game. Uh, these are two games I got from Amazon for free because I used another gift card from Swagbucks. Uh, first one is Bruce Lee, Quest of the Dragon. And it comes with an Xbox 360 case. I have to swap those out to make them complete. And they didn't come complete, so that was a little bit of a piss off. Next one is Metal, Metal Dungeon. I heard this is like an RPG. Looks like it on the back. So that's why I picked it up. Uh, these three... Now I'm going to move on to my PlayStation 2 uh, pickups. I picked up 1, 2, 3, 4, 13 PlayStation 2 games. The first three games were given to me by a friend. And like I said, you're going to laugh when you see them. But I didn't have them in my collection, so I took them. And there, two of them are still sealed. First one is Disney Princesses Enchanted Journey. Yeah. Looking forward to playing that one. Uh, Dora Saves the Mermaids. This one was still sealed, and this one was still sealed, but I just opened it, I opened it just to look through the manual, and that is Dora, it saves the Crystal Kingdom. Just three games I'm going to add to my collection. Uh, like I said, I give every game a fair shot at playing. I don't know if I'm going to give a fair shot to that one. Uh, I picked up this game because it was cheap, it was like $2, and I already have it but I didn't have the manual it wasn't complete and my disc was scratched as shit so 
But anyway, Cena and I had to pick it up again. That's Godzilla Unleashed. One of the best Godzilla fighting games there is. And like I said, I'm a big Godzilla fan. I was surprised to find this. Uh, never seen it around, so I was starting to think to myself, maybe it was not made for North America, or people around here did not buy the, buy the freaking game. And that is Yukaza 2. I, love, I played Yukaza 1. Loved the game. And the minute I seen that one, I had to re-pick it up. I had to get it. Re-pick it up. I don't know why I said that. Uh, this one here, I thought I had all this. I know I'm missing a couple games for the PS2 and the Silent Hill series. So when I seen this one for two bucks, I had to pick it up. And it was Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Cover looks awesome. Like, for horror survival. Uh, this one here was also two bucks. So when I picked it up. But I knew I didn't have it in my collection. X-Men Origins Wolverine. I heard the Xbox 360 version is pretty good. Uh, I heard this game is crap. And this one here had two games into it. Like, I don't know if one doesn't work or whatnot. Or there's two, two in there. I don't know. And I also paid a $2 for this. And it's Alone in the Dark. I know this game sucks. Uh, and these are the rest of the games I ordered with... Uh, my free Swagbucks gift card. So these were all free. First one is Shark Tail. Picked it up because I didn't have it. A little plat fun for a little platformer. Uh, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. Thought this was only made for the PS3 and Xbox, but I guess I was wrong. Um, Astro Boy. I didn't know there was two copy, two different versions of this. I have Astro Boy the video game, and then all of a sudden I seen this one, and I was like. Should I get it or not? And then all of a sudden, I did some research and I've heard that they're two different games. So I was like, okay, so I'm getting it. And if it was the same game as the other one, I would just sell it off. But yeah, and I'm not much for reselling. So like I said, usually if I get a double of a game, I usually keep it or wait until somebody wants to do a trade or something and then I get rid of it. Sorry about that. This case is broken. Next one is Tribes Aerial Assault. Got this for free off of Amazon. Uh, me and my friend used to play it all the time. It was a fun little um, shooter game. And I like how it says in the back, Goodbye Halo. Um, yeah, we didn't have an Xbox, so we had to play games like that and whatnot. So, yeah, that was like our Halo. And the next game and the last game for the pickups this week is The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Attack of the Tw Twinkies. Yeah, fun little platformer game. Like I said, I'm a big platformer person. Uh, as you see my collection videos and everything like that, my collection showcases, you will see more and more like platformer games. And that's what I'm into is more platformer games. I do play the occasional first person shooter. Um, stuff like that but I'd rather play platformer over anything else uh, I do enjoy a good horror survival games around October anything like that and like and like I said the three games that I got for the PS2 that were um, kid very very kids games I didn't buy them they were given to me for free so I took them as I didn't have them in my collection uh, I didn't want to buy them because I was hesitant all the time of buying them um, but he just said, uh, here, my daughter don't, doesn't want to play them or doesn't like them. So here, take them. And I'm like, thank you. Uh, <laughs> didn't, it wasn't a really good thank you, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll have a collection update next week or not, because I don't know if I'm going out anywhere or not. Um, oh, that DS bundle didn't come true. I wish it would have, because that would have been awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is my collection update. Thanks for watching, and I would like to hear like what you've been picking up lately, um, games that you think were good. Uh, like I said, give me a list of games that I should be on the hunt for. Uh, mostly older games, the newer games. I wait a couple months for them to come out, and then I pick them up. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe.